I'm Rod Rodriguez and I hope you enjoyed the performance. If you are a subscriber, you know I not only teach the solos but also share some important information about the gear guitarists use, historical facts and more. But if you are not a subscriber yet, please subscribe to the channel and activate the bell to receive all the new videos notifications. Man the Box is probably one of the best guitar solos of the grunge era. It's from Alice in Chains' first album called Facelift, released in 1990. Jerry Cantrell, the guitarist for Alice in Chains, was ranked 38th on Guitar World Magazine's 100 Greatest Heavy Metal Guitarists of All Times list. The magazine also ranked the Man in the Box guitar solo 77th on its list of 100 Greatest Guitar Solos. Jerry Cantrell is famous for playing the GNL guitars, a company founded by Leo Fender, yes, the creator of Fender guitars, and George Fullerton in the late 70s. Cantrell used the GNL Rampage model with color tremolo and only one humbucker pickup. Throughout his career, Cantrell has used various amps from brands like Bogner, Mesa Boogie, and Marshalls. Recently, he's been using his signature amp, the JJ100 custom made by Friedman Amps. For this solo, he also used a Crybaby wah pedal. I'll have a second camera focus on my foot to demonstrate how the pedal works, making it easier for you to follow along. You can follow the tabs on screen. Let's dive in. Important to mention that the tuning of this solo is E flat, so you have to tune all the strings up half step down. So that's E flat, B flat, F sharp or G flat, D flat, A flat, and E flat. So this entire solo, it's the E minor pentatonic scale. It begins with the open string and the second fret on the fourth string. And you play like that with hammer-ons and pull-offs. And then you step on one, that opening. One more time. You can follow on the tabs. The next part is 7th fret and 9. Hammer on. And then move down the same thing. 7 and 9. Open the Y. And then 7, 9, 9, 8, 7, 5, 7, and then. Time. This is a blue note here. It's a blue scale. If you don't know the blue scale, I'm gonna leave the link for my blue scale tutorial in the descriptions of this video. Now following the tabs. The next part we bend the 10th fret and open the Y slowly. And then bend and release. Pull off to the 8th and move down, move up. 9th fret. One more time. Next lick is on this shape of the scale. We bend the 14th fret on the third string and then hammer on and pull off from the 12th to 15th fret on the second string, like that twice. And bending the 15th fret on the second string. So opening the wise low. And then Again, bending the 15th fret on the second string. And then move down a string 12, 15. And then 12th fret again. And then skip a string 12, 14. And then bend it. One more time. Of the tabs. The 
next part, we kind of feel the strings like that. It's the fifth fret on the fifth, uh, fourth string, and then the seventh fret on the four, fifth string. And then 14, uh, 12, 14 on the fourth string, and another muni, and on the 14th fret again. And then again, bending the uh, 14th fret on the third string, and then back to the original note, 14, 12, okay, and you open the Y slowly. So this entire part is going to be like that. Tabs. The next part it's again played with the blue scale and it's gonna be like that. 12th fret on the second string and then move up 15, 14, 12 and then bend it at that 12 and open the wall. And then bend it again. And move up 14. And then skip the string 15th fret on the second string. And opening the Y slowly. So like that. One of the tabs. The next part. On the first string, 12, 15, and then bend it the 15th fret. So you open the Y with the bend. Pull up to 12, and then move up a string 15. And now those mutants again, 12th fret, covering the second, third, and fourth strings. And then two, two again, third fret on the top string, and then again, those two mutants, and then it's a E7 uh, augmented 9. It's a Jimi Hendrix chord. We can see this, this chord um, in Purple Hay song. Anyway. Now the last part, we have another muting here, and then bending the third fret on the top string, and skip the string, second fret, vibratus, and some munis on the right hand, seventh fret on the fifth string, and then bending the seventh fret on the fourth string, and the same, same string fifth, move up, seven five again, and opening the Y slowly. And then bend the fifth fret on the top string, and then third fret on the top, and then slide up from the fifth to the seventh on the fifth string. Following the tabs. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell for more lessons and tutorials. If you want to know more about me and my private lessons or my online courses, please check my website at www.rodriguez.net. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.